All right, and welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, let's talk about some price predictions. You know, I always, I always make fun at these guys because they always say in the same breath, well, crypto can go up. You know, it could go down. It may go sideways, but it can also go backwards. It's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> anyway, I just saw this article, and the thought that came to my mind is this is why I am mining ethereum right now because you know it's going to go away eventually when they go to proof of stake or whatever that is in six months i just want to stack as many coins as i can i'm not going to sell the reason is this because i believe in this stuff i believe in bitcoin i believe in a, a little bit of ethereum i don't like the fees uh involved with ethereum i think that's a negative for normies getting involved but uh, as this article points out it's the institutions that are going to help drive the prices up. So let's get through this short and sweet crypto research analyst, whatever that is. How do you become a crypto research analyst? All right, enough. I'm going to make myself crypto research poobah. That's me. I am crypto research poobah today. Okay. Uh, crypto research analyst puts Ethereum at 9,000 in six months. This is uh, 21 hours ago. So roughly 1223, 2021 as we speak, and the reading time is three minutes. And I went to public school, indoctrinated by the government, and so the reading time really is gonna be 20 minutes for me. So that's like doing public math too. All right, Ethereum has had a good year in 2021, although the digital asset is looking uh, to close out the year on a less than bullish note. I don't know, it's back up to what? Let's do a tangent, kablamo. Come on, buddy, 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 buddy. 4,000, that's, not, that's nothing to sneeze at, come on. Bitcoin's 51, doggy coin, 18 cents. Uh, and the dreaded Litecoin, evil Litecoin. I hate Litecoin because I own a lot of it and I'm down. <laughs> I wish it would go back to 400 so I can get, get out of it and just put it all in Bitcoin. Oh my God, I don't know. I fell for some FOMO crap back in 2017 and I got into Litecoin. I fought an idiot on YouTube, like, you know, I'm an idiot too, right? And I fell for it. I bought into it. And I said, oh, what was I thinking? Oh, well. Should a dollar cost average spread the wealth and not put most of the eggs in one basket? Lesson learned, right? And now I hope I can pass that mistake on to you guys. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. All right. Let's go. Ethereum holding, uh, holding, heading for a big year. In a report on um, Business Insider. This guy noted that the uh, year has been a choppy one for the cryptocurrency market. Is it really? It's always volatile and it's always going up. It's better than gold. It's better than silver. You know what I mean? I don't know why they say that. All right. There were several bull rallies and crashes. And eh, really? Take the long-term look at the charts. Really have you crashed? No. You kind of do dips. Peaks and valleys, folks. Peaks and valleys. There were several bull rallies and crashes that rocked the market for the year, and the analyst expects to see this choppiness, choppiness, choppiness persist into next year. Uh, however, next year does not look to be all bad from his perspective. So this guy is a noob because he is what again? He is a crypto research analyst. Okay. He obviously doesn't know the history of crypto. It goes up, it goes down. It's very volatile, but the volatility works in your favor. I mean, this guy, I don't know. Who is this joker? Aguilar. All right, Aguilar, I call you out. You don't know what you're talking about. All right. What's he talking about now? Let's go down. This guy shared with Insider that he was expecting more adoption from institutional investors into Bitcoin, which would lead to what he sees to be a successful year. For Ethereum, this has had some important implication as the coin has now lost its footing above 4000 Dude, it's up from 1200 bucks. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, this joker explained that he sees the price of Ethereum doing very well going into the year 2022. I don't know. This is my two-year-old nephew could have gave this prediction right here. So why didn't News BTC or Business Insider call me to give him my intake? Because I know a lot more than this joker. Oh, well, he may be right. It should go up. I believe it's going to go up. But this analysis is, is, uh, is just so basic. Duh. It's like, well, 
uh, the sun should come up tomorrow based on the past performance. Okay, yeah, and the sun will come up unless, you know, barring any catastrophe. All right, this joker puts the price of the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap at 9000 by the second quarter of 2022. This will be propelled by the growth of a decentralized finance, DeFi, the metaverse, and NFTs. When I see the metaverse and I see NFTs, I'm sorry, I still think of BitConnect and CryptoKitties, man. I'm sorry. Just be careful of this other stuff. Go with the foundation. Go with the stuff that's been around. The new fly-by-night stuff. Again, think of snake oil, the way you used to sell snake oils back in the Western days. And that People are always grifting. Grifting life ain't easy, but people are grifting. That may take off, it may not. Right now, my spidey sense says, run. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see, even with the explosive growth of DeFi in 2021, he sees this growth going into 2022 as institutional investors take more stake in the market. Uh, the reason the institutional investors are going to take more stake in the market is because their clients, normies, are going, wait a minute, why aren't you involved with this uh, T. Rowe Price Fidelity? Why aren't you have more, uh, more, 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 uh, more skin in the game here? And they're going to be put, you know, clients are going to be pushing pressure on their, their institutions. Say, invest, man. Let's get me involved. Get me in this game. You know, you got this guy over here making a million bucks, and you know he works at the uh, local Starbucks, and he's he, he's now a millionaire, and he's got a bigger yacht than me, and I just have a baby yacht. You know, come on. That's what the pressure is. Uh, the old school guys, the old school bankers, investors are scared of crypto. They don't get it, and they're just turked. Yeah, even the finance guys, the younger guys see the benefit of the crypto world and they're leaving these companies in droves. Even the Silicon Valley tech hub, the people are leaving in droves going for the uh, crypto market, working in crypto tech, working in crypto finance. The old school boomer types, the guys I'm willing to change, closed-minded people are staying in their little New York places, Chicago exchanges and all that stuff. They don't get it. JP Morgan's, they're old school. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna fade out. They're dinosaurs. So they're getting a little jealous when they see these younger guys leaving and making 50 times more than they'll make, you know what I mean? And not working themselves to death. So it's transitioning. That's what's happening. All right, let's see. The trends will continue to spill into 2022. Article, anybody can write this article. Uh, it's kind of a shame in today's world you get these guys, Armando Adigura. What is this guy? He's a research analyst at Fundstrat. Fundstrat. All right, Armando Aguilar. I mean, I don't know what they're paying you, but this is kind of interesting. All right, well, that is all I got. I am out of here. So could it go to 9,000? And if it doesn't go to 9,000 in six months, what happens to this guy? Nothing. And that's like that joker, uh, Jim Cramer on CNBC. He, can, he has the worst portfolio in history, and people still watch him. Do not follow him. You'll, you'll lose all your money. All right, I'm out.